Hi y'all, this is Pam at Pink Dragonfly Wings here with another video. I hope we get this video done. This will be my third time to make this video. And I'm going to hope that this time we actually get it published to YouTube to y'all. So, what I did is I was making this little book. This is a little scripture book was my intention. Uh, when I was diagnosed with cancer, I had people all over the country sending me scriptures to help give me strength. And I believe that that is what helped me be as successful as I have been through this trauma. And I thought that would be so cool to take some of those Bible verses. You don't have to use Bible verses if that's not your thing. Um, but you could use quotes. You could use sayings, little poems, uh, pictures, doodles, whatever you wanted to do in here to use this little book as an inspiration to you. And that was my, my thought. Um, and so I came up with this idea. I wanted it to be a small book that could be easily carried around, maybe in your purse, in your travel bag, wherever you want to keep it. Uh, and you can make it personal to you. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, again, we're going to try to do it today. So the first one I made was just really crappy. It turned out just awful. I, I don't know if I wasn't paying attention or what, but all my pages are not centered. I put these little olives on the back of it. I put two signatures in there. I decided that wasn't enough. So with three in there, I thought there is not going to be enough room to put these, these olives on here. Besides the fact that I didn't really like how it turned out. So that was video number one. That didn't work. I'll take that apart and use those pieces for something else, but I'm not going to leave it in that. Then I made this cute little book. Everything worked out fine. I made the video. I took the pictures, did all of the stuff, and then promptly deleted them from my phone, thinking I had already transferred them over to my YouTube channel, which, of course, I had not. And so I spent several days trying to figure out if I could re cover retrieve that video and finally decided you know I can just make another video faster than I can figure out how to retrieve that one so what I have decided to do is keep this little book and maybe uh, use it as a giveaway uh, at some point maybe when I get a um, hundred subscribers that might work or comments on my my videos I, I get very few comments uh, so if you'd like to be in the drawing for this little book and um, let's say maybe we'll do it by the end of February and everybody that comments on one of my videos it doesn't have to be this one it doesn't have to be the other one it can be any video from this day to the end of February and then I will draw a name and you'll get this cute little book. How's that sound? In the meantime we're going to make another one. Now I made these uh, out of these little crystal light boxes. They're pretty small and um, I thought wow those are really cool. We need to make something with them. So I made these little books. So let me show you how I did this. Let me move this over out of the way because I'm going to use my ruler and my um, cutting knife to cut these. Um, and I think that'll make it a whole lot better So than trying to do it on that little cutter. Um, this is the book that I, that I came up with. And I cut this box down to this size. And this size is not quite seven inches, like maybe 15 sixteenths. 
six and fifteen sixteenths, almost seven inches long or wide, including the spine, and it is three and a half inches wide. So what I did is I opened up all of this and made a tube. I am going to fold this over and cut a little part of this off. And I kind of did it from this direction just because I didn't want all those words down there. So our paper is pretty thick that we're going to use to cover it with. So that's not a big issue. But anyway, that was what I decided to do. Okay. And because this has so many folds and it's little bitty pieces and things, I actually throw this away. I know some of you may be cringing, but I do. So I come back over here, I lay it down, and I want the top of this box to be at three and a half inches. So I get my pencil, I measure out three and a half inches on this side, three and a half inches on this side. I think that's about right. I lay my ruler down and we're going to cut it again. And we're just going to cut this top off. Right, with our cutter like I said you could do this on your your trimmer uh, my little trimmer trimmer that I use probably won't do this thick because I'm doing two two uh, thicknesses of this box uh, your guillotine cutter would certainly do it and all so now we have a smaller tube with no flappy deuce there we go what we're going to do now is this side. I'm going to keep this side as the, uh, the, the spine. And I'm going to eyeball this about in the center. You could certainly mark it and do all of that kind of stuff. But I'm going to eyeball it and cut it right down the middle. Now, because this little box is so narrow, I want to extend that. To make that part of our book to make our book page a little wider now these boxes have score lines in them or what we would call in the crafting world score lines but it's what has made the the box go together to make a box and I have some Tyvek tape here and I've used this stuff this is just unbelievable stuff and um, I bought it at the hardware store. I've probably used this roll for two, three years, maybe. Uh, it goes a long way, but it's extremely strong. And they use it in house building. So that's why you can get it at the hardware store. I'm going to lay it down here, right across that score line to that extra little flap there. And then I'm going to cut it off if my scissors will cut. And then we're going to turn it over on the other side and do the other side as well. And I'm going to, since my, my tape is kind of tearing apart here, I'm going to make it a little extra on the ends and then I'll cut this off. Turn it over, do the other side. Now this is just going to help reinforce this paper to not bend there anymore. We don't want it to bend there because it's no longer going to be um, a little flap in our box. I guess we could just do it this way. Wow, three books I've made and this is the first time I even considered that. So, there we go. We all learned something new. We're going to cut this off. Put my little ends on the end of it again so I can find it again later. And we're done with that. Now we could go ahead and just fold this over. Not have to cut that off. That would be fine. Fold this one over as well. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything. And then we're, we're going to throw this little piece away too. I know, I know. And then we're going to burnish it really, really well. 
and you can see that our little flap here is straight now and not wanting to turn in. So that's the purpose of doing this. Uh, if you had a box that you could cut this size and not have to deal with this little flap here, you wouldn't have to do that. But that's a way to do it to make your little box, your little book a little bigger than your little box was. All right, so now I have made my three signatures. I've already cut the papers for it. Um, I took eight and a half by 11 sheets of, this is actually purple uh, Kool-Aid dyed paper. And some of it, it ranges from shades of purple to pinks. And every now and then there's a little blue in there for some reason. Um, and I cut them. I, I took my paper and I cut it by three inches all the way across, three inches and three inches. So I was able to get three signatures and I put eight pages together because I wanted eight pages in my signature here. So there are eight of these little sheets and these little sheets are three inches. We want it to be a little smaller than our book by five inches. Three inches by five inches and then we're going to fold it in half and make our signatures. So we're going to sew those in. I'll even these up a little bit because you know they always get a little wonky sometimes. That doesn't actually bother me, but it might bother someone else. So we're going to do that in a minute when we get our our uh, our book made. So we are going to lay our book down. Now this paper that I'm using is the 8x8 eight eight pad of Fairy Whispers paper, and uh, let's see if I can figure out time who makes that. This is the paper pack. It is made by Jen Bishop, and I bought it online. It's a Blue Fern Studios, and it's just beautiful paper. And one side has pretty flower decision or uh, images on it. And the other side may have some kind of fairy or pegasus or a lady or different kinds of things like that. So you can use whatever side you want. Okay, so we're going to take our little box here. And we're going to lay it across here. And it should fit with no problem. Alright, this is going to, we're going to use this paper twice once like we did on this one this is the outside the inside has the same paper in it so that's what we're going to do so we're going to get our glue and i use fabri tac because it sticks really really good put this over here and we're going to go right around the edges all the way around this. We're flattening out our book, spine and all. And then we're just going to lay it down flat, glue it really good. If I can get my glue to come out a little better. I left the lid off of it the other day. And it's making me suffer since then. So, get a little bit more in here. Put it on. And go really good over these these uh, score marks in the spine because that's where you're going to get a lot of wear and tear in your little book. And we want to make sure it stays and stays nice and snug. So and we're going to come right over here and do the other side. Come on, glue. Come on, glue. And then if you don't want to deal with these little lines that the uh, glue makes, you can use your finger to kind of spread this out a little bit, make it a little smoother. It also will take the paper and the glue right up to the edge. And uh, we want it to, we definitely want it stuck at the edge and, and put down really well. So we'll take our paper. We're going to turn it over this way. See, there's one of the ladies. And we're going to glue 
our paper down and I'm doing it not quite to the edge because I want to uh, make sure I have enough to even up and make it I'll just trim that we're gonna burnish it really well it over and burnish it from this side as well just to just want to make sure that paper and glue and cardboard kind of basically become one then we're going to take our scissors get the tape off of it and just cut this out This one off down here at the end. Save our little piece, and then we have our little book covered. A little glue on it. Let's get that off before it dries. And then we're going to turn it over, put glue on the inside. Well, let's go ahead and even this up a little bit just because. Once I put that other side on there, I won't be able to see this. <laughs> and that will make it a little harder. So we're just going to go ahead and trim right straight up to the edge so that I know that the paper went straight to the edge of our book. Okay, there we go. Now then, we've got that done. So we're going to go back and we're going to get some more glue. We're going to very carefully, because it doesn't want to come out much. Of course, it's extremely cold here. We live at the base of the Rocky Mountains. And uh, I think when my daughter went to pick up my grandson a while ago, it was, I don't know, 11 degrees. So, And my window, fit. I have a window right in front of my, my craft area. So I do get a cold wind here, and I think that kind of kind of messes a little bit with my my glue but that's okay I, I squeeze and get it out and then we'll put our other paper on there and proceed forth so okay there we go good helping of glue use our finger tool to brush it to the edge that'll just help our paper stay down quite a bit and turn it around and then this paper is just kind of flowered so it really doesn't have a top and a bottom so we're going to these flowers were at the bottom so we're going to put these flowers more at the bottom and lay it right down there Yeah. Okay. And the only thing about using a finger tool is you end up with a lot of glue on your fingers. But that's okay. We're going to cut this. Cut it right here down the edge. Now just a little sliver here on this side. this away we may need that so we're gonna keep those little pieces and then we're gonna burnish really well on this side All right. now we want to get those spine creases back in our paper so if you take this and you kind of fold it up a little bit, you'll begin to see where those spine um, 
score lines are. There's one, and we're going to fold it over. And burnish it really, really good so that it will begin to train to lay down. Turn it over, and we'll do the other one. And you can feel it if you'll just see right there it is. Okay. And you can just fold it right over and burnish it really, really good. Now, because our paper is still wet with glue, when we do this, it is going to, and we're just going to manipulate the, the paper so that it, it works well. We can turn it over onto the inside and fold it so that we want this to be a good, flexible, working spine. Okay. Then, now our paper may have shifted ever so slightly in here because the glue is wet. If that happens, we're just going to trim it off one more time right here on the edge. because the glue is not completely dry. This side doesn't seem to have shifted quite so much. We have a little piece down here on the bottom that seems to be a little off as well. It's not going to matter that much because we're going to ink this. We're going to get our uh, Vintage Photo ink. Those of you that have watched my videos before now I like a very heavy ink and so I'm going to go around the edges of the outside and the inside of our book just because to me it kind of gives it that little more old antique kind of look that I want that I'm drawn to. So we're going to fold this over. This really doesn't matter. I just get in the habit of doing it uh, because sometimes I put, I just leave a, an open spine. This time we're going to cover it with that fabric that I showed at the beginning. And so it's not going to really matter that much, but we want it to look nice. Then we're going to turn it over on, turn it inside out, and we're going to do the inside. right around the edge. Like I said, you can ink if you want, if you don't ink. I know there are a lot of people, I have lots of crafting friends that just really don't like the ink. They don't like the way it looks, they don't care for it, they think it's too messy or whatever, and if you don't like it, by all means, don't use it. But I love it, so I ink probably everything. And sometimes I may ink too much, but that's okay too. I like it. All right. Um, now we have our little book here. We have our outside. Oh, we have just a little piece. Looks like it's trying to come up right there. We may need to put a little, little sliver of glue down in there. And there's our little book. Perfect. And... Sometimes this glue kind of seeps out at the edge a little bit, and um, I have had a, a thing over here, a, um, a sanding thing, and you can kind of, well, let me see if I can find another one. You can just kind of go right here along the edge, and that glue that's kind of come out from the seams will just will just come off with this so you don't have to do that if you don't want to but it does kind of smooth up the edges just a little bit kind of get that excess glue all right now then we have finished our book um, and now we have a book cover and three signatures now what are we gonna do and so, let's see, that's not really quite long enough. 
Let's see if I can find a little piece of scrap in here that we can make us a little, a little spine with. Needs to be just a little bit longer than most of the pieces I see in here. Here's a piece. So we can measure that. Now, this spine, and I am going to get my little guillotine cutter here. This is going to fit right in this spine. And I want it to have plenty of room so that this will fold up and not interfere. And this side will fold up and not interfere. So when we look at it, we're looking at fingers are stuck together at about here. So we're going to put this in here and cut it and make us a little a little spine that we're going to sew in. Save that piece for another book or the next video that I have to make because I messed up. And then we're just going to measure this right on the inside of our little book here. You can measure it with a ruler. That never seems to work for me. So I measure it with the project. All right, so now we have our little spine. And this is going to fit right in here. This side will fold up with no interference. This side will fold up with no interference. So <clears throat> now we have to decide uh, because we're going to get these three signatures in here. We have three of them and I want them to be centered, you know, more or less same amount of space at the top and at the bottom. This is three and a half approximately. This is three. So we should have about a quarter, maybe not quite that much, on the top and on the bottom. So we're going to figure out here where our center is. Just kind of line this up right here. Here's our center. And that's where we want the middle signature to be. So we'll put our paper here. We're going to make a dot right here. And about the same distance from the bottom. And then we're going to meet and do one about halfway in the middle. And this will cover all of our pages. I don't know if you can see those little dots there. Then we'll take this dot and to this side and we're going to half that distance and put a dot right there. Do the same down here. And here. And then we'll turn it over. We'll do the same from this dot to this edge. Put it right here. Try our best to get them even and straight. Uh, from here to here. Halfway. Here to here. Halfway. Now those are going to be our holes that we're going to put our signatures in. So I have a little board here that I use. It's a Sissix punch board and it's intended to be, you can see all the little holes in it, it is intended to be a punch board. So let me get my, my awl. Should have got all this out, but I guess because I'd already made one, I thought I had already done it once, but I didn't. Get my needle and my little awl. And then we're going to take this little paper and we're going to punch holes right where those marks are. Now, turn it if you need to. Make sure those are even or pretty close to even. Go ahead and punch all of your little holes. Those are going to become our holes for our spine. Now, we need to decide what we're going to do with this. Do we want it to just be white? 
or it's sort of a cream color uh, we could ink it um, we could fold over a couple of papers here and and um, put the the spine make it the same as in there and I kind of like that idea so let's let's maybe do that go ahead and get that done while we're thinking about it and um, I think we'll do it on this side and this is just for pretty it doesn't you can cover it with anything so we're going to put a piece right here I think we'll do it I don't want it to fall right where the the holes are because when we go through our holes that's going to separate so I want it to be a little little um, not lined up with the holes however you say that and we're going to cut this off and we'll put this little piece right here and those are going to actually I think I did it on the wrong side so we'll turn that over real quick and do that one got a little piece in here that's wanting to by the time I get through piddling around with it I need a little bit more glue on it so that's okay we'll put a little bit more glue on it I think I'll overlap that ever so slightly right there We'll turn this over. We'll trim this because we want it to be trimmed. We do not want these pieces to interfere with the opening and closing of our book. So we're going to cut this off. Seems like when I did this on the, the previous book, I had a little piece left over um, that was wide enough to do that in one piece. So I must have laid it out different and cut it different, but that's okay. We've got it covered and get our little oh, that works little pieces off I'm going to ink this before we start sewing on it we're not going to ink down the center because we really would just kind of like for that to blend so we're going to make sure that it's inked down the sides the sides are really dark I don't want to see that cream colored paper sticking out the side so we'll do that now then we might go back and just um, what do I do with that little pokey thing see how do I how do I do this how do I lose stuff that quickly there it is ah, and go through just so that it's already um, poked in the in the spine cover okay. so now we have our little lines right here that'll work now we have our signatures Let's even these up just a little bit doesn't matter which one goes first they're all the same size they're all the same paper so let's go ahead and cut all of them while I'm thinking about it or otherwise I'll forget to do that and let's cut these down just a little bit because there are eight pages here the pages in the center seem to stick out a little bit further it kind of stair steps as you as you put the more pages in there together so that's why it does that it's not anything that you've necessarily done wrong or whatever it just happens and a lot of people just leave the papers they don't cut them or trim them then that's fine too I do that a lot as well so we're going to take our first one and we are going to line this up with our little paper here and we're going to make our marks on our signature so we're going to put one right here one right here and one right here that's where our marks are going to be 
Now, if we want to make sure of that, instead of doing it on that side, let's do it on the inside. That sometimes works a little better. Let's put our papers together, fold them back out, put our little spun right here, and line up these this first row of holes with our signature. And use our pencil and go one, two, three. Now you have those little marks in there. They're not exactly on the spine. That's okay. Now we know where the spine is and we can fix that. So let's get us some string. This is actually waxed thread and it is used for book binding. And it makes it really nice because it, it is waxed and flows through everything really smoothly. All right, now I always start on the last one, the one closest to the back of the book. So we're going to start right here. Our hole has been marked here, but we need to scoot it over just a little bit, but that's okay. We can put it in the same spot, just right in the center of the spine. We're going to push that down and into our hole. We start in the middle one. Now, I think I did this differently on the other book because this would leave you some little ties to hang down. Let's start from the back and come around this way, still in the center. We'll leave a little tail here. We want a tail, but we don't want it very long. We're going to go up to the top one and go right through our hole. I have my needle is a little big. Pull that tight, but hang on to your little tail back here. Now on the back of this, we're going to go all the way to the bottom and come up through here. There we go. And we're going to pull it, leaving our tail. We're going to go right back, oh, excuse me, right back in the center hole. We're going to try to put it on this side. And we're going to pull it tight. So we have a real nice little si uh, seam in here. No hangy downs. And a little tail. And we're going to leave it like this for just a minute. That's our last signature. Let's grab our second signature. And probably would have been better if I'd have done these all at the same time. But I was so anxious to get started. So we're going to put our, line our papers up. Make our, oops, I did that backwards. This has to go on top. Get those up, yeah. Put this one on the top. About the same from the top and the bottom. Go in, make our little marks. This is nothing more than a guide. And while I'm doing that, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Um, so we won't have to do this again on the last one. So this one will be on the end. Center it on our spine. There's a dot. There's a dot. And there's a dot. Now, like I said, they're not right on the spine. That's okay. We know where it's supposed to go. So we'll put that one right back over there. We'll get to that one in just a minute. We'll do this one. We're coming in from the back now. So we're going to, we finished up here. We're going to go right in this one, right next to it. And we're going to pull it up. Okay. So we're making a little, almost like a little ladder. And then we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to poke my hole from this direction so I can find it. And 
go right up here in the top hole and down to through the center top hole. This is our center signature. Before we start pulling really tight or anything, we want to make sure our pages are relatively even in our book. We can always trim if they're not. It's not 100% uh, secured down yet. So make our hole. Go right back in this hole. Oh, wait. I think I did that wrong. We're supposed to go in this direction. Of course. No big deal. We just back out of it. And then back through the center hole. And we have our second signature in. And that's looking pretty good. Now let's get our third one. We have our holes made. Put it in our fold. Here's our first, uh, first hole according to our mark. Our second hole. I guess I didn't make that one very clear so we'll do it as we go again we're going to slip over come up and through our center hole right so we're making like a little ladder here and then we're going to go in our center hole here right up through our pages pull it down tightly go down through our top hole and down through the top hole in our spine card pull down tightly come down here and we're going to go in through the last hole and once again back down through the center Now then, now we have all of our spines done. Let's put this on the outside of this. We don't want it on the inside. We want it to be able to pull this together. Now, probably should have left a little longer tail here, but I didn't. So we're going to come under here, make sure everything is pulled tightly. We're going to go over and back up here. To the center th thread. This one is going to go down and under. Let's see if I can find something to pull that little thread through. It goes under this ladder thread here. Just like that. So that both of them end up here at the center. Alright. We can take our needle off because we're done with that. And then we're going to tie these two pieces together. We're going to go left over right and tie it very tightly right there in that center. And it's kind of hard because I didn't really leave a very big piece. Then we're going to tie it again and we're going to go right over left. Leave yourself a little bigger tail, but it works. You just have to work at it a little bit harder. And pull it through here and tie this as tight as you can tie it. Okay? Then we're going to snip this off. And we have a little bow back here, a little tie, but it's pulled all of our signatures together in one unit so each signature is not sewn in individually they are all sewn in as a as group okay so what we're going to do now we make sure our little tails are under here we don't want them sticking out we don't want them showing uglies get our Fabri-Tac glue and we are going to 
really, really glue this and go over those strings, go over those holes, go over your, your tie, your bow, stick those little tails down in the glue. That's cool. Finger tool again, just to kind of spread it to the edge because we want it to, to go to the edge. Take our book, and then we're going to center this part in this. Make sure we have it right side up. And we're going to just glue it down right there. And we're going to hold it for a minute. And we're not going to wipe our hands because I have no rag. I don't know what I did with that now. And after it has set for just a couple of minutes, it doesn't have to really sit very long because you don't want to wait too long. You want to make sure that your flaps are working. No problem. Make sure this one is working. No problem. And then we can take our bone folder and, but, and crease this down right here to make sure that is... And I, I put a lot of glue on it, so it's kind of seeping out the side a little bit. So we're going to have to get a new rag. And then you can just kind of wipe that up. If you can get it wiped up before it dries, no problem. And then just seat that down. Go in between the second one and third one and do the same. If any glue seeps out, wipe it off. Probably shouldn't do it on my little board here. And then go to the third one and do the same thing. If it slid around a little bit, which it will because the glue is still very wet. And we want it to just set right. Now the best thing to do at this point would be to maybe put some clips on here and a clip up here at the top and let that sit overnight and and seep in really well but we want to put a little thing on the back of it so we're going to do that first and then we'll attach the little clips so um, I open up my book to the middle open it up now, I have this little piece of, uh, this is um, a piece of a dish towel, or sometimes back in the old days, before Pampers and Huggies, we used these things for diapers, uh, and they're, they're very cool. Um, they're very absorbent, but that has nothing to do with it. So... This is about the size of this, is the reason I chose this little piece. And we're going to glue this to our spine back here. And that just adds a little bit more um, thickness to your spine to be able to, um, to work with it a little better. So we're going to measure this about right here. And we're going to put a little snip right there. And then this tears so easy. You just tear it off. And what we want are these frays, these little strings here. Uh, you can spray it, fray it as much as you want. You can fray it none. You can use different fabric. You can use different paper. Whatever you want to do. But I just like the look of, I keep trying to call this stuff gauze. No, this is linen, uh, no, this is cotton dish towels. This is the stuff that I keep trying to call gauze, and it's not, it's cheesecloth. Anyway, there we go. So, we have it all ready. It's all squared out. Got it pretty good. Get our glue. We're going to go really good on this spine here, because we want this spine to really accept this fabric and glue it down really good 
Now we're going to go just a little past here because our paper, I mean our fabric is going to go past. But we're not going to go very far because we don't know how far it's going to go because we didn't actually measure it. And so we're going to use our finger tool and we're going to rub it in really good. Make sure all of the surface is covered right down the side. And then we're going to lay our fabric. And you have a couple of minutes, you know, before it starts really seeping in. But you can make sure that it's on here straight. Make it fit the way you want it. And then we're going to just press it down really, really hard. Um, I have tried using um, my bone folder, but it makes this stuff bunch up a little bit. So I, I don't do that anymore. I just use finger tool and hand tool and try to, as best we can, get it adhered all the way. Now, this is still up just a little bit, and we don't want that because that's going to get caught and it's going to tear, tear off. But instead of putting it on our book this time, we're going to put it on the piece of cotton. And just go right down the edge, right up close to your fray. And then fold it over. Turn it over. Do the same on this side. That's why we don't go right up to the edge. And put it on the fabric because you know where the edge of the fabric is. And just glue it down just a little bit right there. And stick it down. And there you go. And then we have our little spine on our little book. We have a cute little scripture book. It was my intention. Um, you can decorate the front. Uh, if you're going to give this to someone that is going to maybe carry it in a bag or a purse or something, be mindful of the kinds of embellishments you put on it because in and out of things it's going to... Uh, wear and tear a little bit more and they may, may fall off. Now on this one I got some little tabs and colored them and put them on each set of pages where there was a either a, a, a spine cord or the beginning of a new, new signature. But I'm not going to do that on this one but it is on this one and uh, you know I just thought wow how cool you could break up your scriptures or your poems or whatever you want to by uh, kind of like in little chapters you could do uh, a whole section on uh, on love on sadness on uh, depression um, anxiety uh, forgiveness whatever you want to put in here and then each little section could be for whatever you are putting in your book so that is the completion of our little book doesn't take very long it's very cute it does definitely need to sit and dry so we want to put our what do I do with those put our little clips back on here to hold it at the top and the bottom there's another one we'll put this one down on the bottom and we'll let this dry overnight just to make sure it's sealed really good and then it's ready to go you can add the 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 words in there or the pictures in there if you want to yourself or you can let the person you're giving it to do that that is entirely up to you so that's our new book this one I am going to put I'm going to put this out and let's see what what day would be a good day this right let's do it that only gives us one two three weeks let's plan on doing it on march the second that'll give us four full weeks the 9th 16th 23rd and the second and at the end after i have posted the video for wednesday on the second I'll look at all the comments and we'll do a drawing to see who wins our our little book that we made. 
because he's so cute. He has a little butterfly on the front and everything. So please be sure and make a comment. If you make a comment, you will be included in the drawing. So there we go. Thank you so much for your patience, your attention, and we're going to do our best to get this video to YouTube. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll see you next time, and we'll make another theme. Have a good week. Bye.